story that led into this segment was my dog, Spike, sitting in Central Park just having a good time. And it's very appropriate for my next guest because Fran Drescher brought her dog, Chester, to a screen test for a new movie with Robin Williams. Chester got the part, okay? <laughs> and guess what? So did Fran. First of all, let's take a look at Fran Drescher and Chester with Robin Williams in the new movie, Cadillac Man. <laughs> I don't make that Stop kind it. of money, Joy. I know you don't, honey. I'm not asking you to marry me. I'm just saying I will... Shut up! I will not share you with other women, darling. And that includes Tina. Come on, it's green, huh? What are you talking about, Tina? <laughs> Will you please welcome... Fran Drescher, but more important, Chester. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Haven't we gone Hollywood? <laughs> Isn't he cute? Yes, yeah. good boy, gorgeous child. Here, eat your foodie. Now, <laughs> why did they pick Chester? How did he get the... Because Spike gets called on nothing. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, Chester, not because he's my child, but he is a genius. Yeah. <laughs> and I had the screen test with Robin Williams, and I, I have this obnoxious dog. It was in the script, Joan. I thought to myself, nobody is more obnoxious than Chester is. <laughs> so I, I, I had the screen test plan, uh, you know, set up, and they said, um... I thought if only I could bring Chester, it would make the test more interesting and be more funny. I asked them if it would be okay. They said, great. I brought Chester on the screen test, and immediately when Robin was coming close to me, because he plays my boyfriend, Chester starts growling at him and barking at him, and I'm thinking to myself, ay, 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 I'm going to blow this audition, and I'm not going to get the part. And P.S., when I left, because he wears little costumes in the movie, they were taking measurements of him, and I thought to myself, watch, he'll get the part, and I won't. <laughs> How much did Chester get paid a day? May I ask that? Honey, he got a grand a week. A grand? A thousand dollars a week? And you know, he's such an angel. He wants to... <laughs> um... <laughs> and that's for his first film. Now we're ready, you know? <laughs> and he also sing he sings, right? He does sing. You want to hear him sing? Yeah. yeah. Maybe far away <laughs> Okay, good boy, good boy. Now, what? Yeah, maybe you want some water. Yeah. Is this a Sure. Uh, well, okay, here. it is now. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll give it to the next guest, and we won't say anything. <laughs> okay. What happened when you got into bed with Robin Williams? Was he around? Did he resent it? Uh, well, you know, at one point, uh, he was, like, kissing my lips, and Robin was kissing me, and, you know, I was, like, being kissed all over, Joan. It was really <laughs> quite appealing. <laughs> but we were in a room that was a fake motel room, and it was very, very warm. It, it must have been, like, 110 degrees. And there were, like, 20 people in the room. This is what they call a closed set. And Robin and I, of course, were very scampily clothed. I mean, what we did you were wear? basically... Uh, I was wearing a G-string. That's it? <laughs> Nothing on top? No. Ooh. And that was the first time I'd ever done anything like that. And, uh, and it was really the first time for him, too. He was wearing, like, a, an athletic support that kept popping off. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so hot. We were sweating so badly. And, you know, Robin Williams is, like, notorious for this. I mean, it's known all throughout Hollywood. And he's so furry, Joan. Yeah, he's, it's like gorillas in the mist oh, time, isn't God. it? <laughs> It's like, very... He's got a lot of body hair. Uh, he's like a bear. Up... <laughs> I mean, you know, all over his back, all over his front. Uh, Billy Crystal calls him opera gloves because his, from here to here, it's like he's wearing a pair of long, uh, long gloves. <laughs> we were lying in bed, and he was lying on top of me, and I was, like, picking chest hairs from his <laughs> chest off of my chest. And he was so nervous because he didn't want to sweat on me. And I said, listen, I, you know, I've been married a long time, and there's no big deal, and we're supposed to be in the throes of passion anyway, so let's not try and keep ourselves dry. Let's just sweat. And so... <laughs> <laughs> 
Is your husband furry? Uh -huh. My husband is kind of, my husband has a nice amount of, uh, of chest hair. I, I'm really, I don't care. I'm not really picky about that. I, a man doesn't, <laughs> <laughs> all he has to do is love and adore me. That's all I need from a man. Are you embarrassed to take, do you think you have great boobs? Do you know what I mean? Before I would take my boobs off, I would really inspect. <laughs> and, you know, well, if I really thought these are still looking okay for this age, okay. But, you know, do you think, like, just the right one? Maybe we could just cover, you know. Like, <laughs> no, you, I, you know, I'm, I'm really not self-conscious about my chest. I think that I'm probably the first one at a nude beach that gets uh, right. nude because I, I, I like that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I was thinking to myself, maybe, you know, until I realized how hot it was that we should have air conditioning or something so that I could be, like, at alert. But... Uh... <laughs> 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 talking, talking to you, it's like talking to a friend because of your accent. Oh, I love you. You I know, I can't accent. believe I'm finally getting to talk yes. with you like this. And you're so gorgeous. Your yeah, clothes. Right. The clothes. I mean, Barney's. Well, yeah. Me. I, I... <laughs> now, let me ask you about the accent. My accent held me back because I wanted to do Shakespeare. I came, I started as a serious actress. Can you imagine this voice with Shakespeare? What, how? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> what, has it hurt you? Uh, no, I think actually it helped me. Um, it gave me sort of a handle and something to uh, become specific about. Right. I, uh, I think that being pretty and being funny is an asset. Having a voice that's incongruous with the body is also an, a, a funny thing. It, however, doesn't facilitate me going up on roles that Meryl Streep goes up yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> and you just might get if she gets pregnant. You're, you're also very smart. We had a major strike last year in the business. Right, when, two years ago. Two years ago. Everybody was starving. And you said, I'm not going to starve. And you said, I'm going to go into another business. Right. And you went into the crouton business. Yeah, these are for you, Joan. Oh. Loaf and Kisses Gourmet Croutons. I used to make these at home. Is that you with and, your mother? No, that's my mother and my great-grandmother. And uh, uh, I used to make them at home. And then when the writer's strike hit, everybody was mortgaging their houses right. and stuff. And I decided, now is the time to spend the last penny that we have and start a speculative <laughs> business. But it's really paid off. And we're in most of the states throughout the it's nation. Great. Yeah, it's very exciting. And I think it makes me more interesting as an actress. It certainly makes me more interesting as a food manufacturer to be an actress. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I'm like in the market, taste a crouton, come see my movie. <laughs> Well, I will go see your movie, Cadillac oh, thank Man. You. Thank you so much. What a pleasure. Oh, you're so much fun. <laughs>